Hello everybody, it's Ominous for Ominous Designs on Responsible Gaming. How you doing? Um, gonna try and make a quick episode for change. That's how we like them, our episodes to be quick. Um, I am preparing one last thing right here. I just realized that I forgot to do it. Um, what we are gonna do is we're gonna try and do a uh, top down episode. Top down with uh, being that uh, you uh, look at uh, illustrations and try and come up with cards for them, okay? Um, so I would love it if, does that work? It does not work, weird. Oh, I know why. Yeah, okay. Um, it's kind of messy, but that's fine. Um, so, we're going to look at a couple images and try and see one, uh, which one inspires us uh, and make a card out of them. Um, I like this guy. It's cool. Uh, she's alright, but angels, they kind of can be anything. Uh, this is very, very nice. I don't think it inspires me with something just right the moment though it's not that clear that he's got a message uh, you would need to think a little bit about it I mean I'm sure you can find a very nice uh, significance to this kind of stream of pearls or whatnot I made that card uh, this one is pretty sweet unfortunately uh, that um, angle the portrait angle is not very easy for card frames and illustrations. That's Olivia. Uh, it's gorgeous. I really like this uh, image, but I don't particularly want to do another Olivia either. It's a little too easy. That's a big demon. Could be interesting. It's very um, very cool. He's got a lot of character, right? Uh, I quite like this guy. Quite like this guy. Same problem. Might be hard to crop. Mm, also, it's probably a Lord of the Ring thing, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we can just take it for ourselves. Uh, that is pretty cool. And uh, the other thing is, so a couple things that I really like about this card is this illustration is it's very green, uh, which sometimes is very hard to find. Well, no, okay, that's not the hardest to find, but it's very green, so you can pretty easily make a green card of it. The thing that's very hard to find is action shots that are going to help you make tricks and instants and sorceries and whatnot. Um, I'm for... I'm for using it. Um, so let's do that. Um, let's do... Um, this guy. Okay. Um, I need a new card. Sorcery, sure. Okay. So, super cool illustration. Um, it's great. So, what can we do? Um, So, I don't know if that's cheating. Uh, I mean, I know it's not cheating, but I think most people would be pissed off. Is I kind of want to do something that uh, screws with samurais, um, but people are gonna go, eh, "Nobody plays samurais. This is dumb." But since we're doing a top-down card and we want flavor I'm gonna do it anyways I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do it so that the card is still fine with other samurai bit and uh, take it from here quite obviously uh, this is anti samurai which is gonna be a little uh, tricky I guess um, and I'm, I'm really tempted to do a fight 
maybe a fight that transforms into a not so much a fight so something like um do I can do something like this that would be interesting target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature if that creature is not is it it is not a samurai. It deals damage equal to its power and it deals power it deals damage to it. How does it work when you do deal damage, deal damage, like the old fight with the entire text? Um, let's see. Let's have a quick check. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I guess it kind of was. Wait, what? Oh, weird. Whatever. Um, Oh, I guess I had some issues with my configuration over here. Um, gatherer, gatherer. So um, it's going to be hard to find, but I think arena is the thing. Uh, arena, target creature you control and target creature. Uh, script. No, 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 I want the printed version. Uh, printed, tap to, tap to, what? Each of those creatures deal damage equal to its power to the other. That's not what I hoped for. Um, huh. That's going to be hard to find, isn't it? Um, I'm going to look for fight. And then I'm going to try and select old cards. Pretty smart, isn't it? Um... So contested cliffs, coral fighters, uh, dream fighter. No, that's just the fight in the name. Um, contested contested cliffs. Target beast creature you control. Fight target. No, printed. Ugh. Target beast creature you control. Oh, God damn it. Choose target beast you control and target creature. Each, each creature deals damage equal to its power to the other. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't know exactly how to word it. Um, what else do we have? Do we have any hope of finding the answer to this? Uh, Camel Pit Fighter, Prey Upon, Prey Upon, was Fight created in 2013? Huh, I didn't see that. Okay, I thought Fight was created in Innistrad. Must have been the, 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 the set just before, wasn't it? Uh, Okay, well, I might not find the answer for that. Um, triangle of War. I guess it, it's just going to say each other, huh? It's always going to say each other. Choose target creature, you can read each creature, does an amount of Okay. Um, so, how can we do this? Um... Okay, so I can do something like this. Target create uh how do you say prey upon again? Uh just going to prey upon. 
I can try and do something like this. Pray your phone. Wah, wah. Okay, so. Uh, 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 uh. Um. See, the problem, the thing that I don't like is this is still. Um, this is still ambiguous. If that creature is a samurai, no, it just sucks, anyways. Oh, I have an idea. Ah, target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Target creature control. Okay. Um, why is prey upon worded with um, uh, only fighting creatures you don't control? Target creature you control fights target creature and opponents control. That's the new wording, or or is it just? Uh, What's another fight card? A lot of questions today. A lot of questions. Templating isn't easy. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, creature you don't control for epic confrontation. Uh, creature and opponent control. Creature you don't control. What the actual heck? Are they actually not sure how to word this, or is it supposed to make a difference? I understand... Okay, you don't control lets you fight your teammates, creatures. An open control prevents you from doing that. Why do we pre do you prevent to fight any creature anyways? Like, if you, if you want to... If you want to um, trick, be tricky and have two of your creatures fight each other for benefit on your end, good on you you know like that's not gonna happen very often is it i don't i don't really i mean i guess i i probably forget about something but i don't know it's weird pretty weird um fine i'll just it's just equals to oh how about uh things like this so nissa's i don't remember what it's called um Nice's judgment, direction, open control. So if they want it to be an opponent control, like you cannot kill your own dudes with those things. Crazy. Well, I guess it's just kind of silly. Okay, um, it's pretty good. Could we? So how much? How good is a fight that costs two and has no added benefit? I think it's. Pretty underwhelming. Um, I think uh, a natural aggression was deemed to be pretty boring, if not bad. Uh, target creature you control fights target creature and opponent control. If that creature would die, exile it. Instant for three. Um, two is pretty good. Um, what's in Innistrad? Uh, so you have your werewolves. All your werewolf hit somebody, or one of your werewolf hits, or one of your creature hits somebody. So there is no fight. It's just a one-dimensional, uh, and they're both costing two. Uh, you get a fight for one. That was pretty cool back in the day. Uh, Savage Punch is oh, ah, so good, um, but that's not what this card is. Uh, this card would be a common, I do believe, especially for two. I don't really want to make it a better prayer upon, so I think we're good with that. Uh, the name will involve, I don't know, you know, backstabbing. I'm not, for, I'm not fully certain. Um, I'll think about this later. Uh, I think we're good to move on. I think this is a solid uh, top-down design. Obviously, like I said, I'm kind of getting away with 
what set is it ever going to fit in but you know what when you return to kamigawa uh well actually even in original kamigawa uh samurais were not green i don't i don't believe there was like one samurai the the rare one i think or not that many anyways so that could actually be a green card um because green could hate on other guys and actually even if green had samurais he could kind of arguably hate on them anyways but uh, less less so so i think that's a cool card um and even then it's not like a completely dead card the rest of the time it's not fantastic at all though um there's a world in which you could have an instant but it might need to cost three uh um, probably especially whenever you hit a samurai that really sucks if you can instant speed kill a samurai like it's a doom blade it's 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 virtually a doom blade against samurais which you know depending on the set might actually be relevant i th i feel like if you well no maybe not uh there is like some legendary uh, cubes in which if you mm, put this to instant speed that would actually be playable i think okay enough enough killing samurais um the next illustration we're gonna pick is i kind of like this one uh, but I don't want to try and find an interpretation for well actually it could be it could be awaken huh that could be awaken hmm okay let's try it <laughs> I want to make an awaken card of that one um, so this guy is quite obviously so that's like an awakened card okay that's pretty clear but it's a dude it's not a spell is what i was trying to articulate um so i just like to see stats um creature shaman i it's very easy very tempting to always get away with calling whatever is a magician in red shaman um and i don't fully know what else would fit it doesn't really look like a wizard it could still be a wizard i suppose i don't know how many wizards we have in red uh, I, I mean i'm sure we have some i don't know how typical that is um whiz 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 colors red 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 Hello? Red? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, those are for a reasonable amount. I mean, that's 30 of over the entire magic history, so it's not that fantastic either. Um, either way. Um, so, do we have Awaken? in uh there's no awaken in red is it no there is some awaken in red there's not that much at all though um wolf text oh, wait, can. I, I i can picture one yeah there's two of them whoa okay oh and that's not even an awaken card there is one awaken card what happened what happened i feel like this wasn't fully i don't see a world where magic designers went okay let's just have one awaken red spell just for the hell of it i feel like it's more like they got cut or i don't know i i don't i, I can't really imagine them being like okay the set is almost done let's just have one awaken red spell I, I feel like something happened over there i don't know um I bet you Maro, uh, Marco was, was rather has answered that question. Um, so, look, how about something like... So, okay. I don't think that's going to work, but uh, red sorceries... Sor
Can you make something in your hand gain something? I forgot. Yeah, like um, um, this guy. How does he work again? One minus uh, each vampire creature you own that isn't on the battlefield as madness. That's pretty freaking weird, but you could do something like that. So what I wanted to do is, oh, perfect. So each uh, Um, each red sorcery card you own that is on the field as awaken the awaken cost is equal to, and let's do just this twice its mana cost. So Actually, the cost is uh, as a weekend. Oh, damn it. Yeah. So, problem. Um, this is. Okay, no, we can solve this, I think. Um, so. <laughs> hmm. So, the thing is, um, you cannot go, and I see people do that a lot of time. Uh, you cannot go. Uh, uh, each sorcerer you own as awaken x x is equal to blah 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 um x doesn't work that way uh it's something about resolving uh x as you cast the card and not keeping the information uh i i i i, I would do a very poor, poor job at explaining it hence you see this card uh, that is worded as the awaken cost is equal to blah 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 uh it's referred to um uh, it's it's referred to indirectly without giving it a name. Uh, problem being, being here that we need an awakened value too, uh, and I don't really want to do the awakened value is equal to the mana cost. So I would do something like that. I would say the awakened value is equal to the mana cost, and the awakened cost is equal to twice the mana cost. It's pretty wordy, pretty weird. I could have a reminder as well, though. I could do something like this. Um, And sorcery that costs, and I mean honestly, that might just that might just be okay. A sorcery that costs re uh, red has a weaken one. Oh boy, weaken one. Yeah, that's the cost, dummy. What are you doing? Oh no, it's not the cost. What? Wait, how does the weekend can work? Uh, it's... Damn it. Um, uh, wait, can... Ugh. We get there. We get in there. Um, a weekend for cost. Oh, yeah. So what are you saying? Uh, insert symbol red. Insert symbol red. Uh, and stop it with that. What the hell? Oh, I. See. Uh. Are you? Is it? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Is it for real? What's going on here? A weekend one. We're, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Or, or, we're we're not. Oh, we're not. Let's try like this. I love, I I really love. Um, 
it's hard to say when you're infuriated like this. I really love Magic Set Editor. It's it's doing a lot of things that are very hard to handle, but man, sometimes it is hard. Um. Anyways, anyways, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. Stop it. Um. So, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just pretend that's okay for now. Um. So, a sorcery that costs red as awakened one, red, red. A sorcery that costs two. Let's maybe do two, this actually. That costs. Uh, I mean, I I don't even know that it's the the right uh, way to do it, anyways. Um, so you could get a magma jet or a two two and a magma jet for four. Uh, you could get a what's a good three mana uh, um, red spell um, whatever whatever three mana bloody stone rain or or yeah I don't really know I'm failing to find a three mana I don't know I'm in act of treason even though that's not the, the staple but um, Act of Treason plus a 3, 3 for 6. It's starting to get eh. Uh, when you want to cast a 4 and you get a 4 mana instant sorcery and a 4, 4, 4, 8, it's just kind of nope, not happening. Um, so there's this thing, or we get, uh, we do something like each red instant, uh, I'm probably going to do instant sorcery. Um, red instant or sorcery. I don't know if you. Each red instant sorcery card you own as an Malfield as a weekend. And I could do something like uh, as a weekend 2, the awakened cost is equal to 2 plus its mana cost, for example. Um, uh, awaken uh, 3 cost 4 more over here. Okay, it's going to 4 cost. Two more uh, because it cannot be linear. We are we, we because this is very expensive. This gets to six, so you get a better uh, rate. But over here, uh, it needs to be a minimum of five if you want to be able to have such a great spell. That's very cheap to be in with, over with the three three. So it's very hard to tell. Uh, that being said, can we give a two two for two mana? A two, basically a 2-2 two, two for 2 every time you cast a red insane sorcery and I want to say yes because 1 it costs you a land 2 uh, what kind of red insane sorcery are you casting that you have 2 extra mana for a 2-2 two, two on the fly uh, I'm sure you could construct around it but I don't think you would be busted um, So, how would you do? You say, what do you say? Do you say two like this then? Two. Hmm. And I would probably still. I should have. I left my reminder, but you know what? I'm just gonna do the reminder bit. Uh, 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 on my own after after this episode offline because uh, that's just not fun to look at. Um, so I think I can have a weekend two f uh, when you guys read in certain sorceries for two. That might be fine. What kind of creature do we want to put that on? Um, I don't know, maybe a three two for two. Seems fine. Um, I love the three two minutes for three, but I feel like I'm cop copying this straight from um, what's his name? Sin Prada. Um, 
could do it anyways. I don't know. I feel like this is fun and as it is, and uh, it's, it doesn't particularly need to be attacking. Um, so yeah, I like it. I think it's I think it's fun. I think it's quite fun. Um, and we're nearing the thirty minutes mark. Um, I like it. So I'm gonna call it a card. Uh, I'll find names and work on the reminder text and post all of those beautiful cards uh, tomorrow on um, my blog and on all the outlets, Facebook and Twitter that you should be uh, liking and following. Please do subscribe and let me know that you love, love this stream or just tell me everything you think about it really give me feedback on the cards give me advice and etc that's very much appreciated come check out uh the cards on reddit custom magic this is an amazing uh subreddit you should check it out especially if you're interested in card designs um yeah yeah that's it for episode 133 um hope you enjoyed I'll be seeing you next week for episode 134. Fancy that. All right, have a good week.